YouTube, I'm one bet and welcome back to another Dying Light episode. Uh, episode 3 this one is, and I'm sorry it's taken a very long time for this episode to come out, but uh, I have been kind of busy, and it's, today is like the first day I've been back. Uh, I've been out with my uncle, plus my sisters were off school for a while, and I have like quite a few sisters, so and they're pretty young, so they're not just like anything, so... I can I can't really record at night because family are trying to sleep and in the morning or afternoon because they're all awake and screaming their face off. But yeah, we're back and um, we had a seizure last time, I think. So we got to get a shot of that weird shit to um help. To get this shit done, I think we're going the wrong way. Shit. Fuck you! Oh, fuck. No, I break him up. Oh, shit, it's quite a lot now. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry for all them cuts. I was sneezing like fuck. Uh, but I think I've stopped now. Oh, shit. Good to see. Where do I go? <laughs> Hello! Oh shit, it's guy right here. Help me. Let me in. I think I see a doorway over there. Help! Oh my god! How the fuck do I get in here? Climb. I know that. Try and find a way to get in. Wait, that fence is broken. Let's go that way. Fuck you, zombie. Fuck, how do I get there? How do I get there? How do I get up? How do I get up? Oh my god, I'm a beast. Here I've got to talk to you. No? You? Hello? No? In here. Knock knock. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden? Are you there? Damn it. Uh, so, I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Yes, the GRE could be. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. Uh. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, now where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I've tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city. Hoping some of the infected would eat them, so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In 
any case. All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. Uh, what was I doing? He's crazy, mate. Okay, so we got a shot. Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. I don't have to hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. <laughs> so, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zara's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Oh, yeah, I think this is probably this guy. Oh, oh. Hello. Yo, hello, Spike. Spike. I'm Crane. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right. Shut up and pay attention. Uh. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear, and such. The other kind is filled with antisem. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. But the trouble is, the airdrops with antisem keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antisem, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day. Because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight. And Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now. Which I have. But Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All okay. Right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Okay, thanks, mate. Um, prepare a trap for Brecken. Okay, what's this? Search dead bodies, chests, abandoned cars. Pieces of furniture and even trash bins to find crafting components, weapons, and money. Okay, press Q to use your survivor sensor. Then, okay, okay. Let's go. What? Close. Oh my god, you fucking real. Okay, let's go. Oh shit. Uh, let's try and avoid all the zombies. Yeah, that didn't work. Keep going. I thought I'd be doing so much more hardcore parkour. I must say. Okay, first the car. Open the hood, connect the battery, that all on the trap. Okay. What's that? Is it a bomb? 